What's up friends, my name is Dr. Rice and today we're gonna be talking all about natural flavors. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about what the heck are natural flavors? Is there a difference between natural and artificial flavors? And are natural flavors actually healthier for you? So in order to understand what natural flavors are, we first have to take a look at what the flavoring process is in general. Believe it or not, all types of foods have flavors. Flavors are specific molecules or chemicals the two words are interchangeable here, that are present in food for taste only and don't really contain any nutritional value. These chemicals are present in all food everywhere. For example, whenever you eat an apple, not bad. Even if it's freshly pulled right off the tree, there are specific chemicals that make an apple taste like an apple. We'll call this apple taste the apple chemical. Now this apple chemical has a specific molecular structure that can be replicated in one of three ways. Number one, you can get the apple chemical from the apple itself. Number two, you can get a different chemical from a plant or animal product rearrange it in a lab, and then create the apple chemical that way. Or number three, you can synthesize the apple chemical from scratch in a lab using a combination of other chemicals. I want you to notice that in all three of these instances, it would appear that we have the same chemical no matter where it came from. Keep this fact in mind because it's important later on. It's also important to understand this next point. In order to get any chemical for flavoring purposes, if it doesn't come from the thing itself. So back to our example, if you're trying to get something to taste like an apple, but don't actually use an apple to do it, it takes dozens if not hundreds of chemicals in the right combination in order to replicate this apple taste. This is where the term natural and artificial flavors come in. By definition, a natural flavor is any flavoring chemical that is derived from either a plant or an animal product and an artificial flavor is any chemical flavoring that is synthesized in a lab. Natural flavor does not mean that the flavor you're tasting actually came from the thing it's supposed to taste like. Again, back to our apple example, if you're eating something that tastes like an apple, but there aren't any actual apple products in the ingredients list, there's a very, very high chance that the apple flavor that you're tasting isn't from an apple at all. Why is this important? Well, back to our definition of natural and artificial flavors, anything that has natural flavoring in it is a flavor source that comes from a plant or an animal product. Remember what we talked about of how most flavors take dozens, if not hundreds of chemicals in the proper combination in order to get the flavor just right? Well, within companies, there are people called flavorists. Yes, that's right, flavorists, whose entire job is to play mad scientist and combine all of these chemicals in just the right sequence to get the exact flavor that they're looking for. This is really important to understand. Let's say a company wants to make a certain food taste like an apple without using an actual apple to do so. A flavorist may take thousands of chemicals derived from plants and or animals, mix them all up in whatever way he or she pleases to do so, and then list all of these chemicals under the ingredients as natural flavors. They literally do not have to tell you what all of these chemicals are to make the actual flavor and can list all of these chemicals legally under the umbrella term of natural flavors. So I know what you're thinking and the answer is yes. Natural flavors also go to a lab and undergo an extensive alteration process in the same way that artificial flavors do. Again, this is so important that I actually wanna repeat myself using a different example. A company can take chemical X that is derived from a plant and then completely alter it into a new chemical, chemical Z, and call it a natural flavor because it originally came from a plant 
even though its original chemical structure has been completely altered. Contrasting this with artificial flavoring, a company can create the same chemical Z using a bunch of different chemicals from scratch in a lab. Regardless, the outcome of producing chemical Z is the exact same in both instances. So all of this being said, there is essentially no difference between natural and artificial flavors as they both create the same chemical in the end, but the means by which they do it are just slightly different. Natural flavors have become a marketing ploy for companies because whenever you hear the word natural, you automatically assume that it came from nature and it's healthy for you. But the fact is there isn't anything natural about this final product at all. So I know this was kind of a lot of information, but there is a point to all of this. Everything being said, how do natural and artificial flavors actually affect our health? Believe it or not, natural flavors is now the fourth most common ingredient in prepared food behind water, salt, and sugar. There are two major problems with natural flavors. First, there is very little scientific data out there that studies the overall health effects that natural flavors have. Because as we talked about before, each natural flavor can have dozens, if not hundreds of different chemicals in their product. So it's difficult to have standardized and controlled studies looking at the health outcomes from them. And secondly, a flavorous job is to make the best flavor possible. These natural flavors are deliberately contrived by flavorists to taste absolutely amazing. And they want you to eat more, crave more, and just want more of whatever product that you're putting into your body. The problem with natural and artificial flavors is the same problem with artificial sweeteners. That is, they trick your brain into wanting more of the flavor because of its potency. This can lead you to eat significantly more than you originally intended. And as we talked about before, although natural flavors do originally come from either plant or animal products, they undergo an extensive alteration process. And I don't know about you, but I'm not a huge fan of regularly consuming something that has been chemically altered. I do want to mention though that all additives are regulated by the FDA since the 1950s and these do include natural and artificial flavors. They do undergo testing in order to be considered generally recommended as safe or grass, but again they don't actually disclose all of the chemicals that are being used in their flavoring. Therefore, the claim that natural flavors are actually healthier for you is 100% false. If you guys want to know more information about a specific topic that I haven't covered yet, please leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for checking out this video, and I will see you all on the next one.